Hey everybody, this is Gordon Overkill, ready to record the next episode of your favorite sharp or sharp-eared hero, Gordurian. And if I may remind you, in the last episode, Gordurian got back to this nasty mixed vault on D12, from which he once flew in the past. And this time he's not going to flee. This time he will try to make his way through this vault and kill every enemy that he finds there. Well, therefore, he will at first put off his Ring of Metal stability, which he maybe does not need that much at the moment, and therefore equip his Ring of Invisibility. This will make quite some enemies a lot easier to deal with. He might also pick up this game here because he still wants to train his uh, and his large shield because he wants to train his strength. So still hear the distant wind, and there we have a lightning lizard, and I will try to kill him with magic. Is this a fire lizard? Yes. Item like her thing. This item is very likely a uh, mimic. If nobody else steps onto this uh, square, it will be a mimic. So come on, lightning lizard. Mm. He retreats further. What's that? A lesser demon, that's no problem. The item still is on its place and nobody else <laughs> walks there. I'm not surprised about that. So anyway, I will risk eventually toasting a cat in order to kill this guy. What do we have here? A troll, hostile troll. First kill the rock thrower though. Lightning Lizard is in panic, but now we can burn him with another firebolt. And he's dead. Nice. Ah, yeah, now the Mimic shows his true face. There he is. Troll critically wounded. Need some ammunition. And I guess that I will. A uh, couple more quarrels. I will try to train crossbows to level 4 before I change to another weapon. Broadsword of Penetration is the perfect weapon against these high protection golems. Okay, and Gordurian is getting quite hungry. Critically. And he's dead, nice. Now eat an iron ration. And an orc. Okay. Troll is critically injured and dead. Nice. Still no vortex inside. He must be somewhere. Maybe he's not in the vault. We will see. Uh, they all got fire attacks. Okay, Dwarven Chaos Knight. I do not want to give him any chance. Uh, well, no. I will maybe maybe I will change back to to arrows for the moment because. Uh, Really running a little short on uh, on quarrels. Okay, he's doing really good against this Chaos Knight. Archer is maybe the weakest. Oh, wrong weapon. I wanted a bow. The best bow we have is maybe this short bow. Okay, well. It's not the best bow in the world, but it's better than an even worse shot bow. What do we have here? 
quarrel. Scroll of power. Fire lizard corpse, that's not bad. This will be eaten. For the fire resistance it guts. Huge bat. This is a giant lizard, okay. And here come a couple of chaos eyes. I do not exactly remember the danger of chaos eyes. Okay, salt is already level six. We might just for the time to come change back to the X. To battle axe of devastation, because against low protection value enemies like these eyes, it's the better weapon. Tower shield. Okay, nice. Arrow. Coral. Arrow. Okay. Still, there is no vortex to be seen. I'm starting to think that maybe the vortex really is not inside the vault. Scroll of repair, nice. Warm cloak, also nice. Oh, that was some nice findings. Another fire lizard. Mimic is over there. There's a demon. Sausage, take that with us. Ah, uh, the money. Here we've got a hill giant. Let's go and identify. Always good. Okay, then. Next, kill this mimic. That's a greater mimic. Okay, that's dangerous. How fast is it? Should have looked at him at first. 118. And how fast are we? 102. That means. Uh, damn. That means that we just brought ourselves into unnecessary and big danger. How injured is he slightly? That's not enough. Have we got boost? No, we have not. Okay, so I think that we have to hope that we will be able to scorch this mimic before he kills us. Oh, okay, he panics. That's very good. Now we can kill him with firebolts. Bam! Until he reaches the end fight, he will very likely be toast. Man, that was kind of a mistake. And we killed him. Greater Mimic is dead. Nice. Level 16. Okay, we are allowed to improve climbing a little further. We will do that. We can also improve. Hmm. Not quite sure about. A little more healing is never bad. And stealth, although just a uh, very little. Chaos Eye is dead. Nice. Now I think that we have killed the most dangerous enemies in this form. Greater Mimic. Oh, and a Longbow. Cool. Scale Mail. That's a Crystal Scale Mail. We're still not at Strength. Oh, we've got strain Strength 18. That means that we can now drop a lot of stuff. Uh, shield, large Shield. We keep the small shield as backup shield, just in case that we will go through the animated forest. 
which I'm still not totally sure about. So drop all that stuff. Nice. And we can unequip our ring of invisibility again in order to reduce our our food consumption. Okay, maybe the vortex is in the outer vault. Do we have here? Orcish chieftain. Take this high metal broadsword, definitely. That's a, a big dog corpse. We might eat it. Okay, you are an ordinary mimic. Still, we will not leave you a life. Toughness still at 15, by the way. If it reaches 16 at one point. Okay, maybe it was 15 because that was the potential maximum. That's possible. So let's eat two more Morgias. This should bring toughness to 16. Okay, the potion. Metal cap might be nice. And here we've got this vortex. It is an ice vortex. Well, let's risk destroying those arrows and rather kill the ice vortex with fire. Nice. Ice vortex are the least dangerous vortices anyway. But I do not want to risk exploding him next to us. Maybe there will be another dangerous enemy near him and we will be already uh, a little uh, wounded and die to the next one. No need to take unnecessary risks. Okay, toughness 16. But that was our last Morgia increase for the moment. Anyway, we are uh, above 100 hit points, which is already a lot bang uh, better than it was before. Okay, the vo uh, double ganger is no problem since we've got our ring of mental stability on. Good. Roll of item detection, nice. Hmm, close there. Why not? I always think maybe it's a crude spear of penetration or something that I might need. Scale mail, well, not too bad, but also not really needed. Here are the downstairs, but we still have to check if the... Ah, this is the two downstairs level. So let us check where these downstairs bring us. Let us just to make sure that nothing bad happens, directly equip. Okay, here is the animated forest, which should be very possible with invisibility. <sighs> Level 16, 100 hit points. We might also take a little look at the, at the dwarven halls, because they're really damn exciting. Let's eat something at first. Iron ration and large ration. Take a small look down here. We are invisible. We cannot teleport. We cannot teleport, right? Uh, yeah, we have no charges of teleportation, so get back out of here. Without teleportation, I will never ever go through the dwarven halls. So do it this way. Uh, equip our crystal tower shield in this hand and on the other hand we use this small shield which is also not uh, cursed so we can also do it taken in the, in, the, in, the, in the other hand. So tower shield here. We are invisible. So, oh, 
sorry. What's that? Earth and cake, don't need that. Okay. Let me get through here. With two shields and invisibility, it is very unlikely that we will meet a hostile tree. So our chances are very good to get through here rather quickly. Iron ration, we do not need that. It still takes some time because this is just a, a annoying place that always takes some time. We have to get back up there. What's that? Anyway. So nice, you've just completed your current quest. That's great. Wow. So. Take off our Ring of Invisibility, therefore re-equip the Ring of Metal Stability and re-equip our weapon, the Rustproof Blessed Battle Axe of Devastation. So, uh, the quest is done, but I'd like uh, not to go uh, back directly, rather check some of these levels below the animated forest. Here are the downstairs. To be precise, I'd like to know where to find Kilavasta. Who are you? Stone statue, but no terror. Sure that you're neutral? No, you're not, of course. Get a frostbolt and burning hands. And um, another more frostbolt. Okay, frostbolt doesn't work. Okay, we've got the right key for this lock. That's good. Uh, eat iron ration. Here are the upstairs to the dwarven halls, and I will. Just uh, so we know these stairs when we will go through there once. Equip the ring of invisibility. Go down here, but just for one step and directly back. Uh, switch rings again. So, Dwarven Halls 2 is such a deadly place. Uh, that's why I say for sure I will not go there without. Okay. Okay, a black wizard who summons black wizards. That's strange. Anyway, they have to die quickly before they start summoning more black wizards or our bears. Getting surrounded, that's not so nice, but I do not want to get out of here before all these black wizards are dead. Afraid of the owl bears, but the black wizards. He could at any point summon something really dangerous, but now he's dead. Good. So, what do we have here? A couple of spears, but we do not need them. So. We're done with... No, we're not yet done with this level. There is still one more way to go. Uh, will of the Wisp. Now we are done with this level. Mm -hmm. Mummy. Mummy gets fire spells. Okay, 
Bearer gets Frost Spells. And get further down. Let's see, D15. Is this maybe Kelly's level? Harpy and a blob. I do not know how strong a blob is, so I did it the secure way and used some magic to kill him. Who are you? A giant slug. Okay, a giant slug. Would be brilliant if we now had some ammunition of hunting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too bad we don't. It does not care about us, so let us keep it. Okay, now it cares. We have to kill it quickly and hope that it maybe drops a corpse. Be a nice giant slug. Leave a corpse. Well, or a very nice ring of metal stability. That's not the worst thing, too. So, unequip our ring of protection and instead equip this very nice ring of metal stability. Is it cursed? No, it is not. Brilliant. Well, a corpse would have been even better, but uh, this way I can live with it. So. You guy have to die because you can do serious damage, and I do not like that. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Golden amulet. Okay. Found a secret door, some water behind it. Still no downstairs so far. And as you can see, there is no Kelly to be seen, so we have to check at least another level. What's that? The ancient sky. Ah. This is one more artifact that we do not really need, but we might need it to give it to someone at a certain time. Ogalot. I do not want the Ogalot to hit me, so again, time for some magic. I try to concentrate on using at least some magic from time to time because usually I tend to play, as you can see, <laughs> I tend to play my magic users like uh, ordinary melee characters who can use spells if needed. But at least these offensive spells are quite nice I think and uh, especially Burning Hands is also getting quite effective by the time. Maybe I should use Firebolt and Frostbolt a little more in order to train it. don't know. Apart from that, we do not have big luck with uh, finding spellbooks so far. We just found this one spellbook of Slow Monster. We've got Reading 100 and uh, Concentration 100, so we are well able to read those books, but uh, we just don't find them. Okay, this is ah, an Ogre Threat Room. Uh, tension Room. That might be nice. Just kill them and hope that they drop some corpses for us. Troll corpses would also be appreciated. Do, 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 do. They can barely hurt us. So can trust. Okay, Ogamegas, he can hurt us. Wait. Oh. Now he's dead. So what do we have here? Warhammer, higher metal. Couple of slings, maybe they're better than our main sling. Keys, potion of extra healing, that's brilliant. Five ogre corpses, that's uh, amazing. Start with this one, continue with that one. This, you suddenly feel stronger, that's what I hope for. Well, we got one point of strength increase. Cool. 
but still no downstairs. So there is still a chance to see Kelly at this level. And this looks very promising. These are the Chaos Servants. So this was our aim for this episode. We found Kilavasta, the dying sage, being surrounded by a horde of Chaos Servants that we are going to die, going to kill. Still, we are not going to talk to the Dying Sage because we hope that we will be able to find some means of saving his life. Well, I guess let me take a look at the clock. Well, we played for 25 minutes. I think that's okay for this episode. We managed to dive down to Kilavasta and kill all the enemies on the way, found some nice stuff, increased our, uh, our stats a little, which is very nice. And I am all in all quite happy with this episode. So guys, uh, in the next episode, we're going back up to Dwarf Town and going to continue with the Dwarven quests. And at a certain point, we will uh, try to get back to the surface, which will maybe already be in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Bye, everybody.